Let's say we want to find out there is if there is any instability in the scaphoid or wrist joint component or not. So for that we can perform this Watson test or also known as scaphoid shift test. So first of all what we need to do is patient has to be in sitting position. Patients uh, whichever side is testing that has to be supported by table like this in full pronation. And then thera therapist has to find out where is the scaphoid located. So first let's learn how to palpate scaphoid. So scaphoid is over the radial side. So this is my radial side just below the radial styloid process. We can palpate this bony prominences which is your scaphoid and unit which mainly articulates with your radial styloid process. So you just palpate that first with thumb on the dorsum side you have to place it exactly over this uh, scaphoid bone as you can see over here and with all the fingers I am going to apply pressure in the opposite side for the scaphoid bone. So basically the idea over here is what that I am going to stabilize the scaphoid bone in such a way that even if I am performing movements of the wrist that scaphoid should not move. So that is done first part. Second part is before starting the treatment therapist has to take the wrist in ulnar deviation and slight extension and hold this position. Here right now patient will not have any instability or any pain. After this you slowly bring it in the radial deviation and flexion. Now while doing this if you feel that scaphoid is uh, unstable or scaphoid is shifting from its place then we consider or let's say patient is also having pain while performing this movement then we consider that this test is positive which is Watson test or scaphoid shift test.